Welcome back to my channel, everybody. Today we're going to be talking about becoming a CBJ season ticket holder. Should you become a season ticket holder? I'm gonna break down for you the different options, the different packages, the pricing, payment options, my experience as a season ticket holder, the benefits, and whether or not I would say that it was worth it. So to start off, I'm going to lay out the three different season ticket holder plans that you can choose from. So I filmed this video a few days ago, and since then I've been editing it, and I went onto the Blue Jackets website to get some information and noticed that they updated all of their season ticket holder benefits. At the risk of ripping all of my hair out, I'm just going to put all of the benefits on screen, but I will point out to you what the new benefits are or what the changed benefits are because they have gone through and changed um, some of the old benefits as well as adding new benefits. So for the full plan, obviously you get tickets to every home game, and because you'll have the guaranteed same seat location for every game, you get the exclusive season ticket holder pass um, that acts as your ticket that you can attach to a lanyard and bring to the games with you. So for the most part, the benefits here are the same. Um, the ticket trade program seems to have changed. Before they had a limit, I believe it was six games that you could trade if you could not attend them, and now they seem to have made that kind of an infinite amount of games that you can trade if you're not able to attend. They've also made it now that you can purchase additional single game tickets at preferred pricing up to eight tickets per game where it used to be six tickets per game. They also are including an exclusive season ticket holder gift, one per account. You also get bonus friends and family games where you receive tickets to a game for each seat on your account to share with friends and family for select games, which I think is super awesome because I've always wanted to get my friends and family involved. It brings new people into hockey, it fills up the arena, so that's a great perk to include. I don't know if this was a perk before. I didn't notice it, but it's saying that you can save up to 17% with more prepaid parking. And now, rather a 10% discount with your fan bucks, you're getting a 20% discount off of all food and beverages at Nationwide Arena with your fan bucks. For the half plan, you get to attend 22 home games, and you can choose to do the set plan or the flex plan. With the set plan, you're getting the same guaranteed seat locations, but you are getting a set list of games that you have to attend, where with the flex plan, you get to choose the games you're going to attend, but you don't get the same guaranteed seat location at every game. So this means with the set plan, you're getting that cool physical ticket to put on a lanyard, but with the flex plan, you are not. For half season ticket holders, they've also added that kind of infinite ticket trade program. You're also able to purchase additional single game tickets at preferred pricing up to eight tickets per game, which I don't think that you were even able to do at all before with the half plan. You also get your exclusive season ticket holder gift, one per account. You get the bonus friends and family games as well. You also get to save up to 17% with more prepaid parking, and you also save now 20% rather than 10% off of your food and beverages at CBJ Games with your fan bucks. For the quarter plan, you get to attend 11 home games. This works similarly to the half plan where you get to choose a set or a flex plan. This plan seems to have benefited the most from the improved benefits. So for the quarter plan, you are now allowed to do the infinite ticket trade program as well. You can also purchase additional single game tickets at preferred pricing, which was definitely not something the quarter plan season ticket holders could do before. You also get your exclusive season ticket holder gift, one per account. You get bonus friends and family games. And now now, quarter plan season ticket holders get that 15% discount at the Blue Line store as well, which was not something they got before. And you can also save up to 17% with more prepaid parking. Now, I'm actually really, really happy that they updated their benefits because later on in this video, I don't know if I'll leave it in or not, I was complaining about the lack of things that season ticket holders get, especially the half and the quarter plans. They really don't get much. In the past, the quarter plan really didn't get anything besides Stanley Cup playoff ticket priority and the meet and greets. And now they're getting discounts at the blue line, they get preferred pricing, they get to receive these bonus friends and family games, and they get the exclusive gift too, which I think is really awesome. I'm curious to see what the gift will be when we get it next season. Um, but I'm just really glad that the Blue Jackets went and listened to the fans and, you know, they're showing that they hear us and that they appreciate our, our contributions to the team and our loyalty to the team. So thanks a lot, Blue Jackets. I really appreciate these updated benefits that you've added here. Now, obviously, pricing varies between the three packages. The full season ticket holder plans are more expensive, while the quarter plans are the cheapest options. Throughout all three plans, there are three different areas of seating that you can choose from. There's the VIP seating, which includes the Lexus Lounge, Lexus Glass seats, and the club seating. There's lower level, and then there's upper level. Obviously, the VIP seats are the most expensive, with the upper levels being the cheapest options, and 
tickets where the jackets shoot twice are also more expensive than where they shoot once. So let's use me as an example. Currently, I have the quarter season ticket plan. I chose the lower level attack twice side, which means my tickets are $968 a piece for 11 games. If I chose to move up to the half plan with these same seats, I would be paying $1,760 a ticket. And if I moved up to the full plan, I would be paying $3,240 a ticket. Now, obviously that's a huge gap in the price, but being a full season ticket holder gets you maximum benefits. It gets you everything that they offer. With that being said though, the quarter plan was worth it to me because I live about two hours away from Columbus. So going to every game really isn't feasible for me. Even doing the half plan seems like it would be out of my budget in my time frame. So I went with the quarter plan, which really worked out for me. I got to go to 11 games, which really was a lot of games for me. I would obviously love to go to more games, but due to my circumstances, I cannot. So if you're in a similar situation, the quarter plan really is a good option to choose from. So when you decide that you want to become a season ticket holder, you'll go onto CBJ's website to the season ticket holder section and fill out an information form where you're basically giving a rep permission to contact you either via email or um, by a phone call. So a rep emailed me shortly after I filled out this form asking about where I wanted to sit, how much I was wanting to pay, which plan I was interested in. She even actually asked about specific sections that I enjoy sitting in when I go to games. When I emailed her back, I let her know that I liked the lower bowl attack twice side, preferably sections 106 through 106. No eight. She let me know that these tickets would be around $968 a piece. Next, I had to choose if I wanted to do a quarter set plan or a quarter flex plan. Um, for me, it worked best to do the flex plan because I could choose which games worked best for my schedule. However, this meant that I didn't get to choose specific seats. My rep though did guarantee I would at least get to choose the section and kind of area that I like to sit in, and I would be guaranteed that area for every game that I attended. In order to choose the games I wanted, my rep sent me a link that had a form with all of the different game options I could choose from. The games are grouped in certain groupings and you have to choose a certain amount from each group. Um, so I did that, sent it back to her, and then she immediately put those onto my account and I could see it within, you know, like a week. When I finalized my plans, she gave me a call to get my bank information and then just charged the tickets onto my account. Now, I think the biggest hindrance for people not becoming season ticket holders is obviously the price. It is rather expensive, but CBJ does offer several payment plans that you are welcome to do in order to pay off your tickets. Personally, I opted for the pay in full option. I was able to do that at the time, so I just went ahead, charged it all to my account, and I didn't have to worry about it for the rest of the season. However, if that isn't feasible for you, like I said, there are several options that are interest-free monthly payment options that you can do to pay throughout the remainder of the season to make it an option for you to get season tickets. Now, doing the monthly payment option does require that you put a 25% down payment onto your tickets and then depending on which monthly payment option you choose you pay over time. One option you can do if you were to renew right now you could pay over the summer. CBJ also offers a seven month payment option. If you renewed right now that would have you paying from March to September. If I chose this option I would put down that 25% deposit which for me would be $484 and then I would be paying $207.43 for the next seven months. They also offer a 10 month payment option which means you would be paying from March to December. For me, I would put down that $484 and then I would be paying $145 for the next 10 months. Lastly, you can do a 12 month payment plan. If purchased now, you would be paying from March to about February of 2020. I would put down $484 and I would be paying $121 for the next year. You are able to split payments amongst different people. So if you wanted to use two different cards or maybe you're going in on these tickets with a spouse, a sibling, a friend, uh, whatever, you can split these between different people. People, which is really nice. Although I did pay in full, I think the payment plan options are really doable for people that are in college or working or maybe don't live close by or just, you know, whatever the reason is, they have a lot of different payment options that will make it so that you can afford to do the season ticket plan and you can go to the CBJ games and support the team. Now we briefly discussed the benefits of each season ticket holder plan at the beginning of the video. Obviously being the full plan does get you the maximum amount of benefits. However, the best benefits that they offer for every plan has to be the NHL uh, playoff priority tickets, and then the exclusive meet and greets with the players. Now this season I was only invited to one event where I could meet the players. Um, I'm not sure if you get invited to more, maybe if you have bigger plans like the half or the full plan. I was a little bit disappointed to only be invited to one and then you know I paid a lot of money for the tickets. So to only be invited to one event and that's kind of made to be this big perk was a little bit disappointing to me. But the event itself was super cool. 
Uh, basically how it worked was um, the players all were in different little tables around the arena. You could go up and have them sign stuff. That's how I met Bobrovsky for the first time, which was super cool. They had free food and drinks and snacks and stuff. And then you got to go skating if you wanted to on the actual NHL ice at Nationwide Arena, which was amazing. Another cool perk was I was offered to take a season ticket holder survey. And if I filled this out, super simple survey, just asking about my experience, I got to choose a game to get two free tickets to. Also just randomly, I was given a CBJ yearbook um, that has a bunch of pictures of the guys. They each get their own little page and then give some personal facts about them. So for example, Seth Jones, he loves to cook. His favorite TV shows are House and Family Feud. And his role model growing up was his mother, Amy. I love you, Amy. Now something else that I chose to participate in was running for season ticket holder of the month. If you go to the season ticket holder central tab on the Blue Jackets website, you can fill out a little form saying why you should win season ticket holder of the month. And then I guess they just kind of randomly choose people every month. Now this was super cool because not only did they feature me on their website, they put my picture up at the game and kind of announced that I was season ticket holder of the month, but I got invited to yet again another free game and I got to meet Pierre-Luc Dubois, which was super cool. Basically they'd ask you to give them a couple of different players that you'd be interested in meeting. I obviously tried to say Bobrovsky, but they were like, yet. And so I met Dubois instead, which was really cool. That little flag up there, if you can see it, that was my perk for being a season ticket holder of the month. I got to meet Dubois and I got a little uh, white flag that he signed. So when I originally recorded this video, I spent the next three minutes complaining about the lack of benefits for the quarter and the half plans, even the full plan really. And I didn't think that it was very rewarding to be a season ticket holder besides the playoff ticket priority, the meet and greets, and you know, you get guaranteed tickets to the games. And I'm saying that for the quarter plan. But now since they've released the new benefits, I really, really do think that it's worth it for all three plans. Although you don't get quite as much with the quarter plan, you're not paying as much, so it seems fair to me. It's really nice that they're offering the 15% discount at the blue line and that they're offering the preferred pricing on other tickets for other games and now they're even going to start giving out gifts which was something I had originally suggested. The only other thing that I would ask for is that they offer the fan bucks to the quarter plans as well because for some reason that's something that's not offered. That is an exclusive season ticket holder benefit so I don't understand why the last level of the season ticket holder packages is excluded from that perk because they are season ticket holders. So shouldn't they get season ticket holder perks like that? I'm curious to see how these new benefits work next season when we actually get to use them and have them. And I hope CBJ continues to listen to fan feedback and they just continue to improve their season ticket holder program because I really, really enjoy being a season ticket holder and I can't wait to see where it goes from this point forward. So I reached out to you guys on Twitter to see if you had any questions that I could include in this video here. And I just got a couple of questions asked, so we'll answer them here. Rich said, how do you afford it? Well, I do the quarter plan, like I mentioned 8 million times in the video, and I opted to pay in full because I could at the time, but if you can't do that, they have all of those different payment plans that are interest-free and really do allow you a bit of uh, flexibility when it comes to paying for your tickets. Don asked, do you make it to all 41 games? If not, do you typically lose money reselling the tickets that you can't use? Now, because I'm not a full season ticket holder and I've actually never had to sell any of my tickets before, I didn't really have an answer to this. But I have a friend who is a full season ticket holder that lives in a different state and he actually does sell a lot of his tickets. So I reached out to him to get his opinion on this question. He said, it kind of depends. I've been a season ticket holder since year one, so the price I pay is drastically lower than the face value and lower than the more recent season ticket holders are paying. I can sell them to friends and family somewhere in between, lower than face value, so they're happy. And I make a little on it too. Some, like the Pittsburgh games, I sell on StubHub for a huge markup because the Penguins games are always sold out. I sold a pair to next week's game for $250 per ticket, so it is possible. You just have to stay on top of it and send many emails to friends and family. Family. Lastly, Charles asked, how many hundreds of free pizzas and t-shirts have you caught? I hear that season ticket holders always catch stuff. Um, I just wanted to clarify, this is in fact a myth. In the 14 games I've attended this season, I've caught one shirt. They never throw anything to me. And the only reason I caught a shirt was because that was the day that the t-shirt gun was like malfunctioning and firing them like up into the ceiling. Uh, it came over to section 119. Me and my mom were sitting in the back row and it scared the crap out of me. The pizza ladies will walk right past me and like ignore me. I don't know if it's because I'm not a cute kid or a cute guy, but they never hand me the pizza boxes. Um, so this is in fact a myth. Uh, but in all seriousness, I kind of feel like it makes sense that uh, season ticket holders would catch more things since they're attending more games consistently. So I guess to answer this question, 
If you're wanting to catch stuff at the games, I highly recommend becoming a season ticket holder to increase your odds of catching things at the game. So in conclusion, I really enjoyed my first season as a season ticket holder. It was a lot of fun. I've attended more games this season than I ever had in my short time of being a Blue Jackets fan. It just really adds a lot of fun to my life. Like, as stupid and cheesy as this is, the Blue Jackets are, they just bring me a lot of happiness. Hockey brings me a lot of happiness. All of you guys I consider to be kind of my hockey friends make me so happy. And so being a season ticket holder has allowed me to be around that happiness more often. So obviously I renewed actually today when I was filming this video, um, I renewed right before. Um, and I cannot wait to do this again next season. You know, obviously hopefully we make it to the playoffs and I can spend even more money and keep going to games uh, for as long as possible. But I don't know what I'm going to do when the summer comes around. I guess just be depressed. <laughs> but on a serious note, I think that doing the season ticket holder plan really did save me a lot of money. If we look up the upcoming Penguins game, uh, tickets where I have my season tickets for this game are $128 a piece. So if I bought two tickets after fees, I would be paying $284 for just one game. If I paid $284 for 11 games, I would be spending $3,124. All in all, my season ticket plan for two tickets for 11 games, I only pay $1,936, almost 50% less than what I would pay if I were sitting in the same seats at 11 games without a ticket plan. My season ticket plan also got me two free tickets to a couple of games, and then a friend actually gifted me one, so I got to attend a lot of games for free as well because I was a season ticket holder. I got to attend a meet and greet with Pierre-Luc Dubois. I got my season ticket holder yearbook, and these were all things that I wouldn't have been able to do if I weren't a season ticket holder this season. It's a lot of memories I created, a lot of happy times that I had, and I would not have had those memories and the happy times without being a season ticket holder. So I highly recommend becoming a season ticket holder. I just think it's great to see fans getting involved in the NHL community um, with the Blue Jackets. Columbus is certainly becoming a hockey town, a hockey market, so it's nice to see lots of people getting involved in supporting the team. Um, if you're considering becoming one, please, please do. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer them. I just really overall think it's worth it. It saved me a ton of money. I got to go to lots of games. I got some free perks. I got to meet players. I got a meet and greet. It was a great season. Like I said before, lots of happy memories that wouldn't have been had if I weren't a season ticket holder this season. So like I said, any questions you have for me or anything you want to add to this video, if you want to tell your experience, please leave that in the comments below so people can check that out. Thanks for watching my video. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace.